We're here at H-E-L-N-L Stadium in Gehenna, Texas. Owner GM and coach Scary Clones wants his newly completed art installation to get the crowd pumped. But most are just wondering why a bunch of naked painted orcs are gyrating in the lobby. The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for MFL action. The Motor City Maniacs battle the Malice Hellboys. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Hello again, everybody. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me! And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. And it's first and ten. was an all-pro MFL hit. And it's first and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. running for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. Nice pass. That catch is good for six yards. Third and two. Oh man, what a throw. Perfect pass and the score. Uh, normally I don't advocate for changing the station, but for the sake of your eternal soul, I'd understand if you want to cut away during this ritualistic dance. Uh, Rim? The, uh, the crowd started chanting. Why, uh, Yes, uh, yes they did. We're, we're gonna go ahead and lock the announcer's booth until he's done dancing. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Hit. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And that'll be second down and four. your brain and this is your brain on berserker drugs is that, is that... you've got to catch that third and four just follow the bloody footprints to the new line that's a first down And it's first and ten. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. And 
that's about a three yard pickup. Second down and seven. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Third and four. He took a beast boost injection. Now wants to stop all over his opponent. Fumble! You've got to protect the ball better than that. First down. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Third down and long. And he zings it in there for a nine yard completion. They are moving the ball now with authority. It's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm, that's bleak, Bricks. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company. Woo! If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. And the defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. Second down and six. unfortunate he was starting to go somewhere but he gets stopped after three they usually stop me after three too you know the all you can eat buffets they're not as literal as you think it's all about who can control the line of scrimmage on these short yardage fourth down plays usually it's the guy with the biggest butt Nicely done for a first down. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bat. And it's first and ten. Catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And he 
was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, it's on those powerless Grim. Like a high cool. I'm a high school chill. I am a hell of a seller. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Nice run for five yards. Second down and five. Bring up third down and seven. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. Pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. must have played too many video games. You got to punt it here. Come on. The defense saw that play coming a mile away and snuffed it out on fourth down. <laughs> and it's first and ten. hit and it's first and ten when the defense calls thunderclap the offense is toast oh did he ever get zapped reminds me give me an example song watch out where the huskies go don't you eat that yellow snow when i was a kid i always ate the yellow snow they were like lemon snow cones but them fudge ice cream sandwiches First and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. It bricks a boom dead 
Coming down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grin. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> Second down and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Oh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. They're going for two. And he runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Well, those are just my balls. Hey, thanks for sharing, Bricks. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. That's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. Yeah, you know, they're all in politics, apparently. The runner pulls out a chainsaw. <laughs> and he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And it's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Ah, that's okay, Grim. Thank you that mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just getting the points and let's move on. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond.
The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, uh, going to a strippy show? Where we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> when you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Oh, he just got crushed. And that'll bring up second and one. gonna hurt he may not be able to comprehend math after that hit what's math exactly and it's first and ten Second down and more than the QB would like. He picks up a two. Third down and, well, good luck. Ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of butter. That'd be fantastic. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Second down and five. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Third down and five. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. This is going to be a long kick. Let's see if he can make it. Yeah, so did his coach. Someone get that shotgun away from him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And then Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. First and ten. Defense goes one speed. Man, that defender just turned on it. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Second down and nine. That 
pass play nets them seven yards. Oh, no. I got the hiccups again. What are you supposed to do to get rid of them again? Just stick it in the plastic bag. Say the alphabet backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. It ought to stop them. And that'll bring up third and one. And a hard run there picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, nice hit! That's the way you do it. Let him have it and then take it away. Second down and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Third down and ten. The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong-il. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. They're back up here on first. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. four yards and the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt his knitting is superb Grim. that cross stitching unbelievable he's got the ball now let's see what he does with it and he punched his way out of that boom And it's first and ten. Pass and catch for three. The receiver needs to break some tackles. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. Second down and seven. First down! 
I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And he gets three yards on that run. Second down and seven. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Graham. You're right. And it's first and ten. target more often. First down and nine. Oh, man, I love this dirty trick. Look at that passes for a touchdown. He is really getting down out there. You know, he spends most of his days working in the pits of hell, so... He's got to make the most of every opportunity to dance. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He's hit the 40. First down. He hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out of flimsy Lohan's nose. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. Oh, my gosh. The defensive player looks like he's lost his mind. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. Hey, man, I was hanging on the kettle now. You know what happened? And it's first and ten. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Second down and two. First down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. First down and seven. Nice pickup for six yards. And that'll bring up second and one.
And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. He just got crushed. And the quarterback goes into a hurry up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And the ball hits the field incomplete. He threw it when no one could catch it. Some things like that in the quarterback. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell was that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so... And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay it for the pick six. For this, you just give them a pat on the head and tell them they don't suck. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. The quarterback goes into a hurry up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? And the team refuses to quit. They stay alive with four new downs. And it's first. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. Now, I'm not sure who he was throwing to on that play. Second down and ten. Huge pass play for one yard. Hey, timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. point attempt it goes right through yeah like a double step burrito from taco hell the kicker is going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it
And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Either way, they're going for two. <laughs> the onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a position. Stealing ain't right, Glenn. It just ain't right. They usually only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck. Which is typically the amount the quarterback tips on dinner. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Oh, great play! He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My the Hellboys are defeated today. They battled hard, but still got their butts handed to them. Gross. I hope there weren't any orc butts involved. I kind of like orc butts, especially with some Deshaun mustard and a smoked pickle relish. Now that's living. Let's go down to the field and see what the game's MVP thinks of today's outcome. Gosh. Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.